Andre Bishop. All right, so here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion, whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height, but a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting! Out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, presenting the challenger, Andre. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning. Defending undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iceman. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Ready? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Bishop's overhand punch to the head looked good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Tags him. Effective with the jab here, Joe. Frost gets caught with that punch. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Oh, how good is that jab? Snaps it off yet again here. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. The one-two punch is true. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. 
finds his range with the jab. That one hurt. He's got a beautiful leg kick. Flipped him with the jab. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. He may want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Frost. Punches in bunches, timing perfect. You better play better defense than that. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Bishop. Oh, jabs in bunches here, splits the guard there, and continuing to keep his opponent at distance, courtesy of that crisp jab. Effective strike there by Isaac Frost. Oh, and he goes to the hook now, it's good. Nice jab by Frost. He landed a couple good shots here. Bishop's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Good shot. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Bishop gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. And both guys really throwing with a oh. board. Oh, oh, huge right hand! He's clearly hurt. The champ is in deep danger right now. He is desperately trying to hang on. Oh. Oh. Back up. Oh, straight right. but miss. Ooh, huge body shot. Oh, he's hurt again! Ten. Oh! Oh! So a strong five minutes down. Oh, so there's the horn at the end of the round. He got knocked down near the end of it, saved by the bell. He will live to fight on. The question is for how long. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Look at Brittany Palmer in the building. He battered you a little bit. When you hung that top. You showed you have heart to be a champion. Now I need you to go out there and get back to your offense. He's all right, round two. Oh! He's got him right here. Oh! oh. just like that, the fight is over. A huge barrage of strikes. He kept coming and finally landed one big bomb for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And let's look at that again from another angle. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Andre. Well, he's been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight, and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to